Well, it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Monaco, and they take on Circle Bruges. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, they know they need to stop him. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Might be a chance here. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. The ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Dino Hotic. Well, he keeps going. But really sticking to the task defensively. Diata. Here's Ben Yadair. On the ball, Diata. And return to Ben Yadair. Chance to play it in. Can they convert? And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. They need to get tighter. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Ganavin. Now, let's see what they can do here. Ben Yadair. Very quick thinking there. Ayase Ueda. Denke. Leonardo da Silva Lopes. A chance to whip it in. Fruitful looking attack. It's a perfect challenge. An example of how to press. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Ben Yedder. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out.
intercepting it intelligently. Counter attacking, very much an option. Golovin. This is looking threatening. Ben Yedder. Looking away patiently, looking for an opening. But then the one that goes astray. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Ben Yedder. How about the cross? Golovin. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Moving forward effectively. Just the challenge that was required. Diata. Kevin Folland. Oh, the flag's gone up, and there wasn't much in that. And time for the change now. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, fine hold up play here. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Torres on the ball. Ueda. Interception to snuff out the danger. And plenty of room in the wide area. And let's give credit to the defending. Arison Marcela. Leonardo da Silva Lopes. And support available. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Could pull one back here. Which he does! And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, just take another look at this, because the one-two to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.